For decades, Mount Arthur has been sending thermal coal around the globe, but this pit is approaching the end of the road. It is a very big concern. Uh, it's right on the doorstep of Musselbrook. It would support uh, that local community uh, financially and it'll be devastating uh, when that mine disappears. But that won't happen until 2030, giving the mine's 2,000 employees time to decide what's next. At least today we've now provided that clarity and commitment for the workforce and now we can start to work together on you know, that pathway. I've worked in mining and energy uh, for many, many years now. I have mates that work at Mount Arthur and for me this is personal. I want to make sure that they've got good, safe, secure employment to go into. BHP has spent the past two years searching in vain for a buyer. The reason that BHP has had such big problems um, offloading Mount Arthur is, is part of the, uh, a, a broader theme of reluctance to invest in thermal coal, um, basically because of climate change concerns. Mount Arthur is the largest coal mine in the Hunter Valley and one of the biggest employers. So when it eventually does shut down, other local businesses will be affected. Come seven o'clock here at night, uh, we get an influx of um, mine workers and, and um, other associated people with the mining industry and that sort of thing. They come in and they dine here in our hotel. Um, so it, it's, it's been a little bit patchy, but it's, it, it, it's, it's still good. Um, and there's no reason to hit the panic button. This is Australia, we're pretty resilient. Burning optimism on a sombre day. Bridget Murphy, ABC News, Musselbrook.